Hello, in a video coming up, we will look at how you can add album artwork to your MP3 files on Chrome OS. Okay, so in this video, we're going to look at how you can change the album artwork on any MP3 files that you've got stored locally. Not just stored locally, you could have them stored on your hard disk, you could have them stored on Google Drive. And the good thing is, Changing your MP3 information isn't just good for your Chromebook, it's also great for if you upload music to YouTube. If you, I uploaded my music to YouTube before it was even YouTube Music, when it was Google Music. I used to use Apple iPods years ago, and when, I, when the Chromebook came out and I wanted to get away from Microsoft Windows, I couldn't use iTunes anymore, so I had to look for something else and I found Google Music and I just imported all my music from iTunes into Google Music. Now, a lot of that music has got album artwork, which is fine, and some of them hasn't. For example, I used to like clubbing years ago, and a lot of my friends are DJs, and they used to make their own um, house mixes, so they don't have album artwork, so you'd have to upload them yourself and that sort of thing. So it's anything like that where you might have music where the album artwork isn't there. So once I uploaded it all from iTunes to Google Music, and then when Google Music went over to YouTube, I just it all just automatically transferred over. So the change in your MP3 tags will work when you upload music to YouTube as well. So it isn't just locally. But I'll show you what I mean. So in downloads here, we've got an MP3 folder here, and I've just got some music um, files here. And as you can see, when you open one up, there's no album artwork here and there's no information about the band or the artist either. You can see this here, and that is information about them, but that's the only, that's the file name. So there's no actual information here. And that's what we're gonna be looking at changing today. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, I've also got a song here which is on its own. So first of all, I'll show you how to do it with just one song, if you want to do it that way. And then you might have albums that you want to do it with as well. So I'll show you a quick way. So don't just look at how you do a song, because if you've got an album, it works slightly different, and you've got to make sure you follow each step, because if you get a step wrong, it won't save the information for you. Okay, so if we just go on here, now this might be a crazy way to get to the website that we're going to use, but this is the way I'm going to do it. So Chrome Web Store, go on to the Chrome Web Store, and then just put in here MP3 tag, and I'm going to scroll down, and it's the MP3 ID3 tag editor. Click on there. And it's no longer available, but you can visit the website. So if you put MP for IP3 tag editor in Google, that would be the same as well. Okay, and then just go to visit websites. And then from here, it's pretty old school looking website, but this isn't about the website looking good. It's about it being practical and doing stuff for you. So it's really good. So from here, what you need to do is you need to choose the files. So you can choose them from locally or Google Drive if you want to, Dropbox, lots of different information here. So we're gonna choose the file, and I'm just gonna get that one here. Just open that up there. Now the first thing you need to do is when you've got that, is you need to click re-tag information. If you don't, nothing will work later on when you try and save. So read tag information, and you'll see nothing's come a lot, come, come as far as MP3 tagging, there's no information. All we've got is the file name. Okay, so we want to add some information. So I'm just gonna put this as the title of the song, as, as you fade away. And then the artist would just put N-E-F-F-E-X. And then you can go up composers, you've got genre, music, you can do that as well. I'm not gonna do that on this one, I'll just put the album title, it's not an album, so I'm gonna leave that blank on this one. On the next one we do, we do the album as well. We will put the album artist of the same there. Okay, and then what you would want is, you can also put album release here if you want to, but as I said, this is the song, so we're ignoring this for now. And what we need is we need an album cover. Now I'm not gonna go and get an album cover for this specific song, but you can obviously do that. I'll just get some random song um, image from the internet just to show you it works. So I'll just go to Pixabay. I'll just type in music. Look for something a bit, well that looks quite good there. I quite like that. So let's do free download. 
You want to have a quite a good size image considering that you might want to use this on your Chromebook. So I'm going to go for that full HD one there. Download that. No, I'm not a robot. Download. Okay, so I've now got that image in my downloads there. Okay, so then what we need to do is go back to the website we was using and I'm going to do choose file, go to download, we need to go back one and it's that one there. Click open and then click use this file underneath. So you need to click that as well. Use this file and then here what we need to do, I've done everything I need to do, just do save fields, but then you need to do save tags. Click that and it will say save to computer, save to Google Drive or play. So we're going to do save to computer and that will download it and it downloads a new MP3 file. So that's what it's downloaded. So as you can see now, if we go to the MP3 files, as you fade away, there's nothing there. It's just got the actual headphone icon. Go back one, this is the one we've just downloaded. And it's exactly the same, the music support size. It's slightly bigger because it's got the album artwork and it's got the MP3 tag information. But as you can see, you can just see that it's different there. But the good thing is, instead of now getting that, when you open it up, what you will get instead is you'll get that. So it just looks more professional. And as you can see, it's, it hasn't got the name of the file anymore. It's got the name of the song and it's got the actual album as well. So that's how you do that. So that's pretty good. And also if you, you can see it's got the information as well. If we go back one, Go to downloads, MP3 files. If we right click on this one, the original one, and go to get info, you'll see there's not much, pause that, there's not much information here. But if you go to the new one now, MP3 files, go back one, that one there, right click, get info. You'll see that there's more information now, audio information, title, as you fed away, artist and effects, and the duration. So that's how you do it for a single song, okay? So now let's just do it for an album. So with the album, it's roughly the same, but you, you can, doing an album is much quicker because you can import it all and just change a few little things, and it, it's quite easy to do. So the album, I'm, obviously, I'm going to do is these three songs here, we just say that's going to be an album. Okay, so we go back to here. So I've just refreshed the page to start again. So just refresh the page, start it all from scratch. And then go to choose files, MP3, and we want them three, like that, and open up like that. And then what you need to do here, you need to highlight the first one, and do read tag information. You've always got to make sure you do that else it just will never work. And then here, you'll see again, there's no tag information. So title, we'll just call it target fuse, artist, French fuse, album title, we'll just make it up, best of fuse, album artist, French fuse, and track. You can either put one, or you could do one of three example like that so it shows you how many is in there so one of three you might prefer if I'm being honest with you and then from here you've also got album disc numbers so if there's two al two discs within the album you can do it that way and there's a release year here which you can add as well so I will just put in a release here. I'll just make it up 2022 and I'll quickly go to um, here and just choose a different one this time. Obviously you can quite try and find one of your the artists if you want to use that. And we'll just do, um, we'll just do this one here. Free download, I'm not a robot. That's all okay. And then go back to your MP3 tag here. Now you could, if you wanted to, if you're doing, if you're doing an album, you'd most likely want the same image for each 
song. Or you could, if you really wanted to, have a different image for every single song, it's up to you. So choose the file here, go to downloads, put the musician in, use this file. Okay, so that's the first one done, as you can see. So this is that first one here. So you wanna do save fields and then save tags, save to computer. So that's that one done. Then don't do anything, just then click on the next one here and do read tag information and then you just do it again. So I'm just gonna quickly do these now um, so you can then see it's it's quite annoying when you tag, press the tab key, it goes over to the buttons, but there we go. So French Fuse, album artist, best of Fuse, uh, French Fuse, and I'm gonna put two of three. That song is already there, so that's fine. It's stayed there, so we don't need to choose it again. Just put use this file. Um, save field, save tags, save to computer, that's the second one. And then the third one, click on the third one, read tag information, quickly put in the information. Now obviously you don't need to put in all this information. If you want to, you could just add an album cover if that's what you want to do. And you may have a situation where some of the songs that you're doing already have some tag information and you just wanna change the album cover. And if they do, that will come through when you click on it. So just do that, album title, best of fuse, album artist, French fuse, and then we'll just put three of three. I'm just to pause there, because I'm, I'm trying to think where I put two of 10 on the last one. But anyway, if we did, we did. Right, so use this file, save fields, save tags, and then save to computer. Now you'll see now, we very quickly got the three here that we've used. So they're all now part of the album. And if you open one up, you'll see here that it's got the album and it's got straight fuse, French fuse. And then if you right click on it, press get info, what you'll see here now so open this up. We've got album, best of views, title, straight views, artists, French views, duration, and this is track three of three. So it tells you, so that's why I think perhaps it's best to put the numbers, it's up to you obviously, but it will let you know then which one you're on. So I think that's really good. It's a great way of um, changing your music so it looks better on your Chromebook and as I says it's not just about making it look better on, on your Chromebook when you've got mp3 music this will work now and if that tag will stay with that file now and when you upload it to music like YouTube music all that information will upload with it so you're not just looking at blank notes or something when there's no album cover um, it, it does keep the old original so if you want it's entirely up to you what you want to do but you've got your originals there and then you've got your downloads as you could see you could also upload it to google um, drive as well if you wanted to okay so i'm going to show you something else as well because people have mentioned this on other videos that i've done on audio so i just want to show you something because i know it's frustrating people so I might as well just show you now in this video so we've got these um, songs here all of the same album artist when you open one Although we've now put in all the album information, you'll see here, there's just the one showing here. That could be frustrating if you've got an album you want to play. So the best way of dealing with that is to, you can either highlight the ones you want to play like that, or it might be make more sense to create a folder and then just call it Best of Fuse, which is the album name we made up. Just copy them, put them in there, paste. And then you've got the albums, so you could have music and then Best of Fuse. And then you want to listen to this album, just open it up, just click on one of them, and then just press Control A to highlight them all. And then right click and put Open with Gallery. 
and then you'll see they'll all open up so you can move to the next one and that will go to the next album song on the album like that and so on like that okay so that was just to show you how you can listen to music as an album it's just the way it's just about the media player works on the chromebook that's how you have to do it so i hope you like this video if you did please like below and subscribe to the channel for future videos and thanks for watching